Taking action. A big part of my mission at Green Neighbor is to personally experiment with various approaches to climate action. Perhaps even some daring or experimental projects so that I can then share my first-hand experiences with you. One of the latest actions we've taken in our household is to bypass our gas tankless water heater and plumb in an electric tankless water heater. Our motivations were many, not the least of which is our long-term goal of becoming a completely fossil-free household. Along the way, we replaced our old gas hot water tank with a gas tankless water heater. However, the vent pipe for that water heater happens to be right underneath our kitchen window. So, when we used hot water at the kitchen sink, while the kitchen window was open, we could smell the unburned methane that was being released into the atmosphere from our home each and every time someone in our household used the hot water. We simply could not abide by that. So we started looking at options to replace our gas tankless water heater. I found a really small, affordable, but highly rated model online, and I decided to take a chance. The model I ordered is the Emax EEM24013 electric tankless water heater. I ordered it, I called up my electrician friend, and he contacted a plumber gas fitter that he knew, and they worked together to integrate this new electric tankless water heater within our plumbing system. We decided not to remove the old gas water heater just yet, but rather we plumbed in a bypass line around the old heater so that I can now unplug my gas tankless water heater, close off the water leading to and from it, and open up a set of valves leading to and from my small electric tankless water heater. The new electric water heater is so small that I really didn't take it seriously at first. Its height and width are about the size of an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, and its depth is just a little more than the width of a typical smartphone. In truth, when I saw it, my immediate response was to send it back because I couldn't believe that such a small unit could possibly heat the water in my home. I assumed it was meant to service just a single hot water tap and would have to be installed right beside a given sink or shower, However, my electrician friend convinced me to give it a shot, and in the spirit of adventure and activism, I decided to go for it. As a result, we now have the tiniest water heater installed in our basement beside our old gas tankless water heater, and it provides hot water anywhere in our home that is hotter than it ever was with our old hot water tank or our previous tankless water heater. I had it installed last summer, so I wanted to wait until we had gone through an entire winter with this small electric tankless water heater before sharing our experience with it. I have to say, it has been an outstanding performer both during the winter and the summer. While it can deliver very hot water anywhere in the house, admittedly this is not a water heater that can provide hot water to more than one faucet at the same time. However, we honestly don't find that to be a problem because we rarely need to use hot water in two places at the same time. And if we do, someone just waits a few moments for their hot water. That's really no big deal for us, but if that would be something that would be important to you, then you can certainly buy much bigger electric tankless water heaters. The Emax model that we ordered was quite affordable. It cost us about $380. I see with inflation, the same model is about $500 from Amazon now. I'll leave a link to this tankless water heater in the show notes. At the end of the day, it has been great to no longer smell methane through the kitchen window whenever we use hot water. This, of course, relates to a big problem with natural gas, which, by the way, is just a marketing term for methane. What I'm talking about is leaks. Appliances that use methane will almost always exhaust some unburned methane as the appliance is turned on and after it's turned off. 
While methane doesn't last in the atmosphere as long as CO2, it is a very potent greenhouse gas that is 25 to 90 times more powerful than CO2. I should point out that the purchase price of an electric tankless water heater is pretty much always less than an equivalent gas water heater, but the expense of running an electric water heater is pretty much always greater than the cost of running an equivalent gas water heater. Nonetheless, this really isn't something we're doing to save money. It's more to save the planet. In any case, I will try to provide regular updates on the cost of running this water heater, as well as the cost of maintaining it. As these tankless water heaters, whether they're gas or electric, do need to be flushed on a fairly regular basis, and that is a job that I intend to do myself. <laughs> <laughs>